All right, hey people. Um, today I'm going to gripe a little bit because uh, I'm I'm a little bit perturbed. So last night I get home from work. I uh, did some stuff, and then I come into the room to get uh, some stuff done with uh, some video whatnot. I know I'm being really specific. But anyway, so I get on YouTube right, and I go to. Uh, check my comments. <clears throat> now, a few weeks ago, YouTube jacked it up to where we can no longer see the inbox on the side. So, I just went to the inbox and bookmarked it so I could just get there easily, you know, by clicking on bookmarks and going to inbox. So, I go to YouTube, check a couple of subscriptions, and then I go to uh, my bookmarks and go to the inbox and go there. I notice there's this big banner and uh, it says that, uh, oh, your comments are no, no longer coming to your inbox. We will not be uh, sending them the regular way through Google+. Plus. Now, see, I have a small problem with that because, personally, I hate Google+. Plus. And, personally, I don't want to use Google+. Plus. And uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I was a little bit reluctant to even attach Google+, Plus to my YouTube account to begin with. Because I want the two separate. I want YouTube to be its own thing, and I want Google to be its own thing. I don't want them combined. And it really irritates me because I um, I have my uh, domain and my email address through um, Google. Well, my email address and my domain. My primary email address is Yahoo because I hate Google. But uh, basically, they were they had a pretty good rate for domains, and they offered uh, auto renewal and uh, some other stuff. <clears throat> Uh, cuticles screwed up. Anyway, so I decided to go with uh, Google for a domain, and with that I got a uh, you know some email addresses. So I have uh, that, and so if I go in to sign into my email to just check that, which I can do it on my phone. But uh, anyway, if I do that, then when I go to YouTube, oh, I'm not signed in anymore. Why well, didn't sign out of YouTube? I went to a completely separate website, Gmail to check my email. I didn't go to YouTube to check my email. I went to Gmail. So why is me going to Gmail have anything to do with my YouTube account? It doesn't. And and now, if, say for instance, I have my uh, Google Plus account set up with another address, then if I go to Google Plus, then it'll sign me out of that and sign me into that. Then if I go to email, I'll have to sign out of that and sign into that. Then if I go to YouTube, I'll have to sign out of that and sign out. I don't want to do all this signing in, signing out, balancing all these passwords and crap. It's just stupid. Just, um, all I want to do is I want to save my password for Gmail. I want to save my password for, uh, YouTube. And then I want to save my password for, you know, all the other things that Google does. I shouldn't have one sign-in for all the services because I may have different sign-ins for different services. That's kind of how it started out. YouTube was its own thing, so I set up my own sign-in with YouTube. And and then Google had to buy it and completely screw us all and ruin that. That's it. We're being scroogled by Google on this YouTube crap. And this is why I'm never going to buy an Android phone either. Because Google's stupid. Android's stupid. And the whole comment thing is stupid. I went to try to respond to somebody in comments. Oh, oh, oh. Can't do it now. You got to go at symbol and type in their name just so it'll link back to that person. It's ridiculous. I like to hit the drop down button and just hit reply and it put their name there for me. Because now I'm sitting there. I had to type out the whole freaking name because every single letter I type, it gave me a big old list of people I never even heard of before. It wasn't who I was responding to. It would be so much easier just to hit that arrow, reply to, type in my comment. Type in my comment and it's done. Oh, no, no, no. Now, Google has to make it hard for everybody. You know what? I don't think Google gave me enough Vaseline for this bull crap. I'm a little bit perturbed. And the cat's hiding because I'm ranting and raving. <laughs> see if we can get that. <laughs> oh, stupid cat. But, uh... I don't know. I don't have much else to say. I just wanted to do a uh, a quick update on why uh, Google is stupid, and the whole thing is stupid, 
and uh, the fact that if I could, I would close my account, but I can't because um, basically it's pretty much the best thing going as far as uh, video, you know, stuff. So, I guess I'm stuck with them. I'm going to have to be stuck with being scroogled. And also another thing that's really got me riled up is I read that uh, they're just completely revamping the way the comment section works. It states that uh, if you make a, a comment and enter yourself into the conversation, then uh, basically whenever people in your Google circle on Google Plus um, comment, their comments are elevated above everybody else's comments. Now, I guess that's fine if, say, for instance, I go to a PS4 launch video or something like that by Sony and I type in comments and people I know are, are interacting. But the thing is, is that may be cool for some people. That's not cool for me. And I want some customization on that because I don't enter the conversation with comments. When I make a comment on a video, I'm usually talking directly to the video maker. I can give two rat scraps what everybody else has to say. Screw everybody else. They're just a bunch of idiots and chuckleheads anyway. The only thing I want to do is I want to comment to the content creator, and then I want to see a response from the content creator if I'm asking a question or, or just to, you know, had them chuckle or something like that, you know. It's, it's just interesting. So that kind of irritates me, but why even more irritates me is I like to read the comments on my own uh, videos. Whenever comments are posted, I always go and read them. And I want to see the comments on my videos be in chronological order. Just like, just like with freaking Facebook, how they screwed it up. I want my timeline to be in chronological order because, say for instance, I'm at work and I go to lunch. I want to bring it up and I want to see what all happened between now and the last time that I read. I get home, I'm bored, I want to bring it up and see what happened between now and at lunch at work. I just want to, you know, just, just read everything that happened, make sure that uh, I don't miss, you know, one of my family members died or something. But, uh, you know, it, it's kind of stupid because every single time I log into Facebook on the phone, I mean, it's set on the computer, but every single time, every single time I log into Facebook on the phone, I have to click the news feed button, click uh, most recent, and then it rearranges everything the way it's supposed to be. Why can't I have that set up as my default? I want that my default. I don't want to see the news feed. I want to see most recent. And that's the same thing with this YouTube comment section crap. I don't want to see what's going on that can be a part of the conversation. I can care less about the conversation. I want to see the comments as they're happening in real time, chronological order, and Google is just screwing everything up. And that's why I hate the company because they're stupid. You're stupid. And you're screwing us. We're all getting scroogled over here.